Berlin is the capital of music for Germany. I live here for six years now. More international people are coming here, so it's evolving right now a lot. It's a melting pot of talent for sure, as we can also see with the people participating in this week. It's like, look at it, we're right at the river, like the weather is good, Berlin is the place to be for music. This week I expect to be really inspired by what's possible now with Trudovi and making like one or two nice, really nice tracks. Hopefully meeting a lot of really cool artists and make some new music and also get to learn about uh, Dolby and how everything works. It's something I haven't really worked with before. I'm going in with no real expectation. I'm just eager to meet new people, try out a new format I never worked in before. I actually like hearing music in immersive audio. I'm quite eager to learn anything. To see where it just goes, I think it's sort of new, but it's gaining traction. I'm really, really excited to try out a song in Novi. I don't know what will come out of it, but I just want to try it and then we'll see what happens. The goals overall of the Atmos Accelerator program are to not only make artists feel comfortable in the environment with Dolby there, but to enable them to be able to leave this experience and continue to produce on their own. When we were thinking of Dolby Atmos Accelerator Berlin, we wanted to make something very special. Partnering with SAE Berlin was very important. SAE has been a great partner with us. They've been educating students in Dolby Atmos, and they've opened up their facilities to us to use all week. SAE is one of the biggest private educators in the field of creative media. With Dolby Atmos becoming more and more important and with the potential of becoming a new sound format standard, I think it is very important for our students to at least take their first steps also in this system here. If we wouldn't teach it, it would feel a little bit like not talking about stereo in the 70s, but still going for the 50s sound. So throughout the week in Berlin, we've had really strong partnerships that we've been able to lean on that have been so gracious with their support. We have Songs Media that has given us all the artists to work with and also supplied us with a boat that we could install a Dolby Atmos mix studio on, take this out to the lake, take this down the river, record vocals and mix in a Dolby Atmos environment. Again, on a boat, on the water, super cool experience. Super great partner with Genelec as well for speaker systems that they've donated for the cause. And also Digital Audio Denmark, which we're using their Thunderbolt interfaces in all of our studio environments to produce the music. It was amazing. I was super glad that I got to work on the boat. Dolby Atmos will bring my songs to life more because if you have more space to move sounds around, obviously they tell a bigger story than if they are just in front of you. I always wanted to catch the emotions from the listener as well. And I think that's becoming a lot easier through Dolby Atmos. They just feel like they're inside the story that you're telling. We went to Eric's room at Genelec and then it was really amazing to hear the final product. I heard it in Dolby Atmos and I was just like, my mind was blown. I think for a lot of people it was great to just sit here, more or less relax. I think everybody's pretty overwhelmed with what we all together collectively achieved here this week. I like to layer vocals, I like colours and textures. So it was nice with Atmos that all these colours could move to the side or could move to the top or could move to the back and you still have like the most important stuff. Because if you did that in a stereo, it's like all these instruments are competing for the same sound space. With Adobe Atmos you can put lead vocals in front and you can put the reverbs at the back, which is like a whole lot of separation. So the vocals are really, really clear. That was just really incredible. Through Dolby Atmos, we have the possibility to really immerse the listener into our own music. There's just so many different creative pathways now I can expand on. Dolby gives me so much more endless possibilities of working sounds in a more three-dimensional space. It looks like stereo is the new mono, <laughs> and that's kind of how it felt. Thank you.